So I have a job interview tomorrow and I don't have anything to wear. So today we are actually going to get ready for my job interview. This is the first time I've interviewed for anything in almost two years. So I don't have a suit jacket. I don't have any professional clothes. I need a haircut. My nails look awful. So we're going to take care of all of that today, starting with the haircut. All right, haircut done. I just got like a couple inches trimmed off and then got it thinned. So now it's time to go shopping. and bad news. The bad news is it took me over four hours to find a suit. And the suit that I got is not exactly what I wanted, but I got it because I needed something. The good news is I have a suit now, which I didn't have before. So we're going to do a little haul when I get home. But first I'm going to run to Starbucks because I just, I need a breather after all of that shopping and not finding what I actually wanted. I feel like I deserve a little bit of a treat. I'll be right with you. Hi, what can I get for you? Hi, can I get a pink drink with no strawberries? Grande, please. For sure, anything else? That'll be it. Okay, I have everything I bought, so let's check it out. So we're gonna start with what I got at Ulta. Cotton pads, just cause I was out. Then I got some NARS lipstick. This is Dolce Vita. Dolce Vita. I don't know. Oh, here you go. That's the name. I really liked this color. It's like a very neutral matte color. Whereas the only other lipstick I have right now is hot pink. So this is definitely more interview appropriate. And I also got three different colors of the Impress nails. I'm probably gonna do like this more neutral colored one, but I also got a couple different pinks. Just wanted something that's neutral and more professional. Normally I wear stuff that has like sparkles in it and hot purple, hot purple, purple, like bright purple, but obviously not interview appropriate. So these, I feel like any three of these colors would be fine. So here's the outfit I ended up with. Please ignore the closet to the left it's just a storage closet and that's the only one that has a mirror so here you are so this suit jacket and the pants are both from h&m the top is from versona and then these shoes are from dillard's i got those a while back they are lucky brand i was wanting more of a solid color and they had a really cute lilac top but they didn't have any mediums it was a large and a small and neither one of those fit me i think it fits pretty well it's not exactly what i was looking for but it's gonna do the job which is what I need. And I don't think I told you about this, but I got one more thing, which was a dress for my brother's graduation. So I'm just gonna show it to you because it's really cute. This is the dress I ended up with for my brother's graduation. This is from Calvin Klein. I actually got it at Marshall's. And the great thing about Marshall's is that you can always get a good deal because this dress was originally $130. I actually saw it in Dillard's and I was like, this is cute, but I'm not spending $130 on it. And they had the same exact dress for 40, which I love. And then these shoes are Steve Madden and I got those from Marshalls as well, just on a different trip. So overall, it was a pretty successful trip. I got what I needed. Now the things I have to do tonight to finish preparing is I need to get those nails on, make my manicure look all good. And then I wanna spend some time prepping for interview questions. So for you guys, just things that I am thinking about as a pharmacist who's moving into a different role, hopefully after this interview and somebody who's already been in practice, like what type of questions are you going to get? So things like, where do you wanna be in five to 10 years in your career? Kind of thinking like, what are you going to bring to this job? What are the skills? What are your experiences that are going to make you a good candidate for this job? The position I'm applying for, I did a rotation in residency. So I'm gonna go back and look at the project 
projects and the presentations I did during that rotation so I can speak to those. And then the other thing I want to do is come up with a few questions that I want to ask the people I am interviewing with. So it's a two hour interview. The first part of it is with the manager over the position and then the second part of it is with the people I would actually be working with. It's another pharmacist and a technician. So for this role it is within the same health system so I want to know what my transition would look like out of my current role into this new role. This is a new role so asking the manager what she would define as success in this role. And for the current pharmacist just asking questions to truly understand the day-to-day -day job and what that's going to entail as well as how this position is going to be transitioned from one person to two person job because that's kind of what's happening here. I will give more details about the job in a future video but those are the kind of things I'm doing to prepare myself for this job interview. I'm probably going to spend 30 minutes to an hour just brainstorming those questions. I have a list of questions that I want to go through and just kind of practice and be ready for. So if you want to follow along, see how this all ends up, and get my advice for interviews after I've done this interview, make sure you hit the subscribe button because I'll be talking about that in a later video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!